Here's Freeman. Nice run by Royce. Freeman down the sideline. Knocked out by Jonathan Abram. Thanks to Lord. There is a flag down. It was a game of 26. And Conley got the worst of that exchange. Royce Freeman goes six feet, 238 pounds. He is a load. That play was blocked well, and it come over on the sideline, carry on Conley. You just hope he's all right, not moving. Personal foul. Lauren had to initiate contact. Defense number 24. That bill is half the distance for the goal. And a first down. That's Jonathan Abram, a hard-hitting rookie. But oh, this is a young man who made his name with hard hits. He's just going to have to learn here in this kind of situation. It's, it's tough to play defense in the NFL, no question about it, but you're going to have to learn, otherwise you're going to cost your football team. Garrett Conley is the injured player for the Raiders, third-year player out of Ohio State. He's actually hit by his own teammate, Jonathan Abram, which doesn't make it any better, as you can see Conley being attended to. The flag was thrown. You see Abram, 24, the black come over and clearly initiates lowering his helmet, lowering the boom there on Royce Freeman. Yeah, New York will take a look at that. Afterward, Jonathan Abrams' leg comes down right on top of the helmet of Gary on Conley. It looks like he compressed his head and, and that you worry about the neck right there in that situation. You know, the chin going down towards his chest as it's not a natural position. But look, he's tough playing defensive back. It's tough, tough playing defense in the NFL nowadays. In that situation, you have Royce Freeman. You talked about the yeah. fact that this is a compact, tough runner that plays with tremendous leverage. And it's tough for defensive backs, it's tough for defenders in general to try and figure out how to hit these guys when you're that low to the ground while keeping your head out of it and yourself playing with good leverage. And it makes it tough. I understand how the league is trying to keep the head out of the game, and rightfully so, because you don't want to see these kind of situations, although this was kind of a free, a, a free type of situation. But this is, this is why the league is making an emphasis on this. As Conley is still attended to, we'll step out. These are live pictures now of Gary and Conley being stretched off the field. Conley did suffer from a concussion last season. Concussed in week 15. Missed the game in week 16. Came back in week 17. Nobody feels worse than Jonathan Abram, his teammate. You, know, you just hope that uh, they're taking every precaution here. Anytime you're doing any head or neck injury, they're going to do this. And uh, you hope that Gary M. Conley is, is all right. Heck of a football player. He's had a great camp, and the Raiders have been excited about him in his third year. And just this freak kind of accident, as you said, Lewis, that chin goes down, and that's always something you've got to be careful with. You can protect. You can put rules in. You, you can't account, though, for this kind of play. It's just a part of the game. It's, it's an unfortunate fluid. part of the game. And he's a good player. And he's a player, as, as Bruce said, but they really like him. They really like how he's coming on here in his third year. But Trayvon Mullen is someone who they like as well and someone who plays some good football for Clemson. And he's going to have to step up here because his defense has been playing good. They've been playing some really good man-to-man -man coverage, and that's something he excels at. Raiders were already young at the cornerback spot, and now you get even younger with the rookie out of Clemson. And if you're the Broncos offense, you're being as sensitive as you are, Greece. <laughs> no, you know, you go right after the rookie, you have an opportunity, right? You know, Trey Mullen's a good player, uh, but he is a rookie, so. Uh, and this is a tight game, 14-3 game. If the Broncos score here, uh, touchdown, we got a ball game. And the momentum has shifted in this game. Since the uh, Raiders scored to make it 14-0 in the end of the first half, it's been 28 plays of offense for the Broncos, only three for the Raiders. And why is that? The run game has started clicking. They're starting to play true to who Rick Scaggarillo said they wanted to be. He said they wanted to be balanced, they want to be multiple. And the run game, particularly when it's to their right, has really started yielding some nice chunk, uh, chunk games so far. Broncos had just 15 rushing yards in the first half. 
Now they're up to 88 for the game. So after an unfortunate play for the Raiders, it's a big spot in the game.